Totally okay. Guys, I'm changing gears and I'm going to take it up a notch before I go to my meat and potatoes. Now, all of us in our own right feel like we are that guy, right? Let's be honest here. All right. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. especially respectively, ladies. Respectively. Ladies. respectively. Yeah. Well, uh, so I said that to say, guys, um, being a man, and as Chris says, being. Um, Top of the litter? Is that a pick of the litter? High, high stop. Yeah, high value. Okay. I'm going to ask y'all a valid question. This goes for the sexes, especially for the audience. We want to hear your take on this. Can friends, because I've been blasted on the show by my counterpart, are having a relationship with a friend that I've never slept with, but is one of my best friends. Uh, phenomenally figured best friend, but <laughs> that's a whole nother story, right? So, and friends have a sexual relationship or a sexual encounter and remain on a friendship level. Is that possible? Please date doctor, because I see your, your face lighting up. Please explain <laughs> me if that's possible. Yes. I think that, um, I think that for one thing, we as adults, who uh, some, some 40, some close to 40, we should have an emotional grip on sex by now we've been sleeping we've been screwing since we was 16 years old we cannot have the same emotional reaction to sex as we did when we were teenagers it, we, it's just it, we've been doing it for over two decades now so we have to adjust to that um i personally believe that you you should be able to separate the two you know i think that you should be in even in relationship you should be screwing your friend so that, i i think that that's possible what i don't think is possible is a ongoing sexual relationship with a with a friend i don't think that's possible I, an encounter maybe you know twice maybe something like that that's possible but i don't think an ongoing sexual encounter or sexual relationship with a friend is possible not because of the feeling wise but because how convenient how hard to find a person that has great sexual compatibility with you like you don't you just don't give those up. I know I don't want to speak about guys, I want to speak about myself. I know I've been in relationships where I've had women that I slept with before, and when those relationships was over, I got back. Over back those, then. I slept with those same well during two. But the point I'm trying to make is a sexual compatible partner is very, very hard to find. So it's not that the whole feelings thing is because I believe that grown people should be able to manage their feelings. It's just that it's so convenient to have someone that's sexually compatible that you're com sexually compatible with. Because I believe that casual sex is the most the most honest sex you can have. Because in casual sex, it's either I like your sex or I don't. So if I like it, I'm going to continue to do it. If I don't, I won't. That's honesty. In relationship sex and feeling sex, a lot of times. That woman can not like your sex and stay with you simply because you provide, you're a great provider. You, you know, you, you her lifeline, but she's, she thinks your sex is sucks. So at the same time, she's lying to you about your sex. That's why I think casual sex is the most honest sex. And it goes the same thing with men. Men will hate screwing their woman and screw everybody else in the world except for their woman. But Damn they sure. have a great relationship. Because they they're not honest when they're t with, about sex. Because casual sex is the most honest sex you can have. It's either hit or miss. So for me, no. I, I I yes, I do believe that you can have a sexual encounter with a friend and continue to keep it out on a friend level. I just don't think it could be a long-standing, frequent sexual encounter. Because at that point, why not be with her? Why not be with him? You guys are obviously getting it on on a weekly basis or you know some monthly basis why not take a chance at um that relationship it should be the best relationship you have friend you like her sex she probably uh, uh attractive give her a shot but hey that's what i got or is what you got well <clears throat> i'm gonna be contradictory because i didn't prepare for this and i'm gonna go off the dome your <laughs> answer is yes mine is no yes. even though most Tyler Perry movies start off as the innocent two friends. Oh my God, I didn't know I felt such a way for you. The movie Brown Sugar, oh, she's my friend. I never had sex with her. We hooked up, oh, now I love her. All of those movies 
are like that. Me personally, I say no. And I'm gonna tell you why I say no. Because let me share a part of my personal life, being an egotistical person that I once was before I came to the Christ. Uh, once was. Mm. Never mind. Past tense. Never mind. Never mind. Thank you for my supporting cast of best friends. Listen, gotta keep you honest, my guy. Yeah, huh? That's real good, Xavier. Um, no, I don't think so. For the easy, for the simple reason of it being good with two friends, it's either going to be amazingly awkward, and it's going to ruin the relationship. Because now we just feel it just feels weird, and you know, you've seen my stuff, and you know, blah, blah. or it's going to be good, and now I'm confused now. Because I, you know, the chemical exchange, you know, he didn't pump some joy juice in her. She's walking around feeling really confused. Because women are more emotional. For us, men need sex. Men don't want sex. We need sex like a car need gas, right? So I'm gonna go say no because the instances that I've seen over the years, you guys rat me for my best friend. This is my best friend. And we never went there because I knew, well, we didn't have that attraction to each other. But I knew if it ever went there, it wouldn't be the same. You can't help it. You can't help it. Or maybe I'm just a little tender in that in that category. Maybe I'm having a, a ill de barge moment. If I have intercourse with somebody, it ain't no casual pound pound because I can't do that. But we go there. It is going to forever change our relationship. <laughs> it's going forever change. Like, the Second of all, I don't have I don't have casual sex because I'm that guy in that sense that I might do some things to a woman for me. And she's going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe you did all that. You must be really like me. No, I did that for me. I'm just being selfish. We have in sex and I just did a phenomenal this uh, phenomenal lineup of freaky nasty stuff because for me, <laughs> not for you, but I can see how I can be misconstrued. So I'm going to say that the answer is no. Only in movies can you get away with that. And even in the movies, it doesn't work. So I'll come back to that. I'm saying no, because once you start kissing and doing all of that, Mr. Brown say, they ain't gonna look at it. A woman will tell you, we friends. And forever now, she's changed. Like, she's gonna play like she's your friend, but in her mind, she still got those feelings. She's still gonna have an attraction to you. And she is gonna be secretly in a relationship with you, whether you know it or not. So why you over there dating all them girls and she like she your friend? She is waiting for that hat that moment for it to accidentally happen again. As compared to a man, we could do it over and over and it means nothing. But for her, unless she is an OnlyFans participant, it's gonna mean something. So not to ravel on. Go ahead, ladies, man. Cause I see you in the chair. Can't wait to get in. No, I, I was laughing. I wanted to ask you if that's that uh that uh finishing move you got that tornado twister. <laughs> is that that move that's the one that bring them in it bring all the milkshake to the yard <laughs> but I no um, here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no I was thinking about that um, I think that it, I think that it can happen um, I think you can be friends and have sex you gotta have a clear understanding um, it's easy like Chris said you're two consenting adults you wanna have sex and you're single have sex it's okay but you do have to stay on the same page. Um, you cannot, what you cannot do is have that secret relationship in your head. Because that happens a lot too. I think we're going to talk about that a little later on where that guy may have clearly said to you a said thing, but women have this notion inside that they're going to change this guy's mind. Like, I heard him, but he didn't really mean that. He meant something else. And he either told you or showed you. But um, as long as both parties know what it is, I think that that can happen. And I don't think that any feelings will well, I can't say that they won't get involved because they do. But again, that's a conversation piece that y'all would have to have. But that that was my take on it. It was pretty simple for me. Mar what Mario, you got Mario, before we go to that comment, someone said I had sex with a friend and kept it just a friendship. And we're going to come back to that because it had to be terribly bad if you kept it as a friendship, Miss Miss Walter. But we'll come back to that. Mario, sorry to disturb you. I don't agree. Interrupt. Go ahead. But I feel like um, I connect with a lot of people. So me speaking um, um, candidly and about myself, I think that I have a, a lot of friends that are women. Uh, not as much now that I'm married, but a lot. I have had a lot of friends that are women that I've had sex with. 
And we can turn out to be actually a great friend. And I'm telling mm-hmm. you, it's because I can see past the sex, but I understand that that was a necessity for me. So most of the women who I am friends with back in the day, not now, you know what I'm saying? That uh, I probably did have sex with them. And then we figured that it, it wasn't going to work. And I truly wanted her to see happiness. So if I knew it wasn't going to work with me and I knew that me and her couldn't make it and I did value her friendship, I could control myself to say, I want to see my friend happy. We might have got drunk and it got into the heat of the moment and did what we did. And we might have did it a couple of times. But I, I, I trust me when I tell you that I can say, damn, I'd rather see you happy because I know that I can go get another woman. So I don't have to tie you down to me, me knowing that I don't want you. And that's just how I feel. And maybe my head is too far in the sky or whatever, but I really feel that way. I feel like right now, me and you can be smashing, smashing, smashing. And then you can say, I want more. And I can say, I can't give you more. And then you can say, well, I got to stop. And I can respect that. And then you can go get a boyfriend and we'll never smash again in your life. I won't even look at you like that. I can do that. I, it's, it's a proven fact. And I think that most men who understand that, bro, there's a lot of women out here. So I, I understand that women control sex. Women control sex. I believe women control sex, men control marriage. So I believe that at some point, if you come to the point of the relationship where you want to move on and I'm not ready to go there, then I say, you know what? I understand. I respect you if you're my friend and we we go separate ways and I can be happy for you. I can be truly happy for you and I won't disrespect you in that manner. So I believe, yes, you can do it. But I say, I think it does take the right man at the right time in his life with the right motive. Because a lot of people use that word friend um, very loosely. I think a lot of guys play friend to get some coochie. Right. And see, those guys right there, I think that they're going to be the ones who are going to get tender and get possessive because they was waiting for their turn for a long time. But I think right. if you truly have a friendship with a woman and then you also then you get into, a, you know, and because like Chris said, what's, that's one of the best parts of the time. You, your chemistry going, this is actually your friend. And if the sex is good, y'all might be using each other to get to a point in your life. But when y'all right. see y'all off that road and y'all getting ready to split, it could be a good thing. And then I could value you and everything about you as a woman and be my friend. Like, it's yeah. actually women who I've had sex with who I've never, I'm talking about years ago, never once again ever had, and we can talk, and they, and we talk about great stuff. And I believe that you gotta be there. Because a lot of mm-hmm. men just still wanna have sex. Like Chris said, I've been there, you, you're never gonna forget it. But at some point, as a man, you gotta have some self-control and say, you know what? I ain't gonna do it. Go ahead. No, you I'm said some key words, though, hard. I want to say that because when we were younger, I know 10 years ago, I was dating. So the Drake rule, one time is what? Fine with me. Listen. And a lot of times, a man, we just want to see what it is, what it be by that one time. And we can move on. So that's that's the interesting part. That one time is fine for me was a, a scripture in the new gospel. So, but that's what I was saying. But I'm saying if it's good for me, a woman starts to process what is this I'm feeling. Instead of saying it was just some great sex, is oh, because I feel like, this me, I feel like women get good sex confused with relationship type stuff. So a dude that then came down and, and dropped the 44 has her thinking that she's in a relationship and sometimes that's all you have in is sex. I think, um, uh, not to cut you off too, I think that you, you, you can't be naive with who you are too. Mm-hmm. Like, I think a lot of times, I don't know if it's naiveness or it's manipulation, and I, and I don't want to throw my guys in the bus, but I got to say this. I think right now, if you actually feel like you're a good man, and you actually feel like you screw, you have sex good, then you have, to, you have to expect, it might not happen all the time, that she might get attached. So right. then if you know this is coming, then that means you have to be definitively drawing a line constantly. You can't get aggravated. You can't get annoyed. You have to continuously, a hey, this is what I want. Beat that in because I don't change who I am. I'm a good man. So I'm going to do all the open the doors, the flowers. I'm gonna, That's who I am. But I'm going to continuously let you know this is not what I And I don't mind because I understand that's my plight. That's what I have to do because I am not the norm. So when I think when men get naive and they be like, uh, she should just know. No, nah, bro, she don't know. Because mm-hmm. if you are the man who you're saying you are, then it's no way that she just know because that means you're rare. So she's going to try to hold on to that. 
Go ahead. Mario, not at not I'm going to Chris next. Not to cut you off, but that's gonna be a whole nother topic too, because that's the difference between men and boys. But let's be honest, panel. How many times has been a chick that you might have thought about hitting, but you say, I'm not gonna do it because I know if I hit it, I know what I'm gonna have to deal with after that. Yeah. So you have to make that decision, like boy, I know she's gonna lose her mind, so I can't do it. Chris. Uh I, that's with that statement that Harder just said, man, that's why the whole when people say we got to have communication or have an understanding that that's capped to me because there's no such thing as an understanding with women. Once they feelings turn on, like you can, mm-hmm. at the beginning, you can say, Oh, we just screwing. Once she catch feelings, for you, you hit that bell. That's, that's null and void. That contract that you said in the beginning. And me personally, I, I don't baby women. I think that you are a grown adult who's able to do everything that I'm able to do has the exactly the same amount of senses. You should be able to. You should be able to understand. Yeah. But what, what, what happens? What happens if you um if you sign a contract and you can't fulfill your end? What's that? What happens? You get terminated. That's my point. Yeah. You terminated then. You don't. You don't. You don't stay with the contract and then complain about how bad the other party is. Like and right now, if you sign a contract, if I sign a contract with her and she say, "Hey, we're gonna have consensual sex and it's gonna be no feelings," and then I go back to you and tell you. And it I see up. your feelings, and I see you can't handle it. Cause of the contract, I don't have to let her do it. I have let. I can say no. I see that. I see you can't, you can't handle it. it. I'm out. Yep. Well, I'm used to women catching feelings, like whether I'm whether it's uh, we screw or not. I'm used to that. I have to deal right. with that. So no matter right. what, I'm not. But I, what I'm not going to do is constantly reiterate what I've said previously. But you what, got we, to. what we agreed on already. You can Chris, you I'm, 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 I'm used to maneuvering in, uh, in a situation where women right. like like um catch feelings with me. So you can just I leave. I, I'm used to that, and then I leave. I, 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 put, like, put like this: either is it the two options? Either you're gonna keep going with it and keep drawing the line every day, or you're gonna say I'm tired of this and I'm gonna go on to somebody else. It's simple to me. Like it, it's only yeah. one of two things. Well, because you can't make a woman change their mind. Okay. I'm personally one of the people that believes that if if the robber keeps on robbing you, then you the one needs to lock you the one needs to lock your door and put up a um fence or put a ring in. It's not for the robber to change. The robber is being consistent. I am going to screw. That's consistently what I'm going to do. If All you right. don't want, to, if you have catch feelings and you've known that I'm not feeling like that, it's up to you as the person that feels like they being robbed or being neglected or being Whatever it is, whatever feelings that you that you feel that I'm doing wrong to you, that it's on you. To but then you got to be willing for the for the for the kickback on that, because you understand. No, I'm not scared of women. I'm not. I have no fear. Of no, women. I'm just saying. Period. It, it, you don't have to be scared. I say you have to be ready for the right. kickback, regardless. Right. I'm saying because a lot of guys act right. like they like. I I can't believe she doing this. Well, I can't believe she acting like this. I'm not. Huh? I'm not one that complains about women. I don't. I, right. I do not complain about women. You'll never see me. Posting sentimental shit about women or complaining about female nature, I have I am in full understanding of it. I am I accept everything that comes with this with this lifestyle. I accept it. So whatever comes with it, I'm not fearful. I don't care about the posting on uh, Instagram because whatever you post, I can show I can show documents saying that it was never like that. I've never even told you about relationships i never even told we never had that conversation or anything like that because i'm very honest when i'm de- when, in my dealings with women i'm not sitting here saying make this facade as if oh we're going to be together when i don't if i don't have those type of feelings at that at that point in time i am well, that, that's a good place to be in and that's a good place to be in but talking generally so you think most men do that what's that talking generally do you think most men do that I, I think most men lie all the time. And that's what I keep right. on, what we keep on saying on this show. You need right. to stop lying. So have some nuts and tell the truth. I'm not right. saying that you're gonna it's gonna be effective with every woman or most of them. I'm just saying right. you do this because you're not scared, not because of what a what the feelings a woman gonna have. You do this because you are not scared of a female. Tell her the truth because of that. Tell, if you don't want a relationship, don't sit here and and, and um tell her that you want a relationship now i feel i feel like also you can do relationship things because that's what you that's what you tend to do right right i'm, I'm a firm believer in that you don't change who yeah, you are man. like i don't change you know i don't yeah. i don't water myself down to 
to uh, give you the delusion or to make you to trick you into thinking I don't want you. I'm Absolutely. this is who I am. And if if you get head over heels for it, and I see, well, see, I'm a little different because I feel like at, at some point, too much is given, much is expected. Like I, I feel like that's not a cliche line. I feel like right now, some people cannot turn down certain stuff. And I feel like if you, if I really feel like I am special. So I feel like mm. the average, I feel like you, the average woman is going to like me. If I like her and she give me the time, she's going to like me. But if yeah. I lose, if I lose, I have to understand she might not be ready to go when I'm ready to go. So I feel like it's my job then for me to walk away. Cause I don't, I don't even, it, I just don't want that bad. I don't even want to deal with it no more. 